What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we went on our first surface adventure and got a lot of amazing loot. Like we got a bunch of loot, we got an Ascendant Faso saddle, we got Ascendant Hazmat suit shirt. So what I might end up doing, off camera I might go on some more surface adventures to see if I can get some more drops. I've marked the surface entrance on the map so we always know where it is. But today, I've only got one thing on my mind. Basilisk taming. That's right. We're going to go tame that 140 basilisk, or at least try to. We've got four spino eggs right here. So hopefully that will be good enough. So what we're going to do, tame that basilisk. Where'd Tiffany go? Uh, okay, um, actually, where, where is Tiffany? Tiffany? Did I, uh, Tiffany, where the hell'd you go? Ah, whatever, she's probably fine. But yeah, we'll probably take Pugsley. We'll take Pugsley, but he's the only male. Hmm, you know what? You know what, let's take Cosmo. We never use Cosmo on our adventures. Alright, I'm not seeing Tiffany. Tiffany must be down there somewhere. But anyway, um, let's see. Uh, who should we take on our little adventure? We are a little on the heavy side. I don't think the Yi Ling will be able to carry us. It'd be very convenient. We'll take the Gigantoraptor. Alright, let's drop what we don't need. I think the pelt will keep... The berries we can drop, the bow we can drop, this stuff we can drop. We don't need any of this. Alright. But yeah, after this, after I tame the basilisk, I'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera work. If we look at this base, it's getting kind of busy. And I watched videos from uh, both the Axeman and Skelly, and even Syntac, and their bases look way better than this. I mean, this is cool, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I think it's time for an upgrade. So I'll do some renovations to the base and I'll and next episode I'll have everything all set to go. Maybe I'll have like a cliff platform or something with like a huge house that'll be like my new my new main base. And this we could just keep this up as like a, you know, maybe a compound or whatever. Or maybe a small breeding area for, like, smaller creatures or something. Yeah, this could work. This could be a, a breeding area for small creatures. This will obviously be the pen. And then maybe we could expand over here for, like, the bigger dinosaurs. Or something like that. There's Nanny. Tiffany, there you are! <laughs> you were right out there this whole time. Alright, Cosmo, you can go away. I'm just gonna have Tiffany come back inside. All right, Tiffany, you stay there. We're going to bring Cosmo. All right. Nanny. I wanted to take Nanny. Nanny, how's it going? We're not taming any Gigantoraptors, but we've got whatever. All right. I did not like that lag. I'm going to save the game just in case it crashes. We're going to go this way. All right. The 140 Basilisk shouldn't be too far away. There it is. It's fighting a Stego at the moment. It's got about 27 points in health, 18 points into melee. Let me get rid of this raptor real quick. I thought I heard it. Yeah, I heard another raptor. There's a third raptor. That's a 110. We don't need that at the moment. All right. Yeah, this Stego... Looks like the Stego is winning, so... Let's wait, or the Stego's losing, sorry. Let's wait for the Stego to die, and then we'll drop an egg. What level is this Dire Bear? 15. I am looking for a high-level Dire Bear. I'm not actively searching for one, but... It's there, anyway. Well, that was a 210. That's a mutated one. Alright, come on, Mr. Basilisk. No, no, don't attack me. No, don't go after that. Go after the egg. It's gonna hatch. I mean, it's got some time. It's a 210. 
Does it have any... Eh, it's an oxygen mutation. I'm not too fussed over it. I can see through the awesome spyglass what kind of... Okay, can you stop going after whatever you're going after? Oh, God. I did not mean to hit that. Sorry. Come on. Oh, that gas. We need to make some gas machines for those. So we can make congealed gas balls. I think that's what they're called. Alright, where did it go? Okay, where did it go? Is it underground? Yeah, it was underground. Alright, run. Run. Maybe run. Leave the egg. Alright, get rid of this iguanodon. Or is it still after us? I don't think it is. Did it go back underground? I think it went underground. Okay, um, I've tamed, I've tamed a basilisk before, so I know what I'm doing. Should I use the Yi Ling for this? He probably went back underground. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Great. Is he attacking a crab? That's a, that's a beautiful crab, actually. Alright, basilisk. I don't know how many eggs it's gonna take. It should... It says it will take just the one. Just the one. So hopefully that's the case. Alright, I don't want to kill it by mistake. Yep. No, don't go after me. Go after the egg. The egg, not me. No, not me. The egg. He keeps going after me instead of the egg. Alright, you stay there. We're gonna see if we can use the Yi Ling. And we'll get some extra eggs while we're here, too. What do we got for extra eggs? One, two, three. We'll get three extra eggs. Just so we have them. Now, will the Basilisk or the Yi Ling be able to carry us? Oh, there it is. I think I see it. I don't know if that's a different one or not, but it's there. It's there. I think, is this it? This is it. This is the 140. Right, let's see if we can drop an egg. No, don't go after the stego. Damn it. All right, we need to kill the spino before it grows up. And kill these raptors while we're here too. Hey, come back here. Alright, Ravager, I'd rather you not. We're gonna get some levels from this, which is good. We got 47 levels. Let's go up into, like, 10,000 health. Alright, I guess we'll just sit here. Wait for it to be done with its rampage. And then I guess drop the egg. Now where are you going? No, the egg's that way. Oh my god. That egg's gonna hatch. Again. Why is this the perfect temperature? Oh, this one's mutated. Let me see if it's... It's a stamina mutation. I'm not too fussed. Okay, come on. Stop eating whatever you're eating. Go after that egg. No, don't go after a Listro. I wish the Yi Ling could move around while it was, like, latched onto a tree. That'd be convenient. Well, let's get this egg before it hatches. I know. What's it attacking now? Alright, come on. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, eat the egg. Alright, he ate everything except for the egg. This one's mutated as well. That's a health mutation. Ah, uh, Is it a male though? It is a male. Actually, I might save that one. All right, you know what? Just drop a couple of eggs. Just drop them all. See what happens. There we go. We're latched to a tree. How are we supposed to do this without a flyer? It's so complicated. Oh, my God. And, and it doesn't help the eggs keep hatching. If they could stop hatching, that'd be great. 
Oh my god. I hope it ate that. Hey, it's tamed! Okay, we managed to tame a basilisk. And there's another basilisk there. That's only a level 15. Alright. Basilisk versus basilisk. Let's go. Or maybe follow me. Actually, that works too. Oh, we got him. We got our basilisk. A female basilisk. Alright, we need to get back home. What was the spino? Over here. 80. Alright. Alright, and we're back at base. We managed to get a spino with a health mutation, so I might just, uh... Bring that over here. Good job, Yiling. Maybe you're not as useless after all. Alright, so what I might do is hatch up the rest of these eggs. Since we don't have the, Since we've tamed the basilisk already. Let's go ahead and put these over here. Maybe get a couple more female basilisks or spinos, even. Alright, let's take a look at our. Actually, before we take a look at our stats. Let's make the Basilisk saddle if we can. Alright, Cosmo, you can go away. Alright, we got 62 cementing paste. That should be good. Let's make the Basilisk saddle. And then we can finally... We can finally take a look at our newly acquired Basilisk. Alright, so if we go out here... Let's take a look at our stats. Now, we could have one that has extremely terrible stats, but we don't know. So what are your stats? Let's see. 37 points into health. Not great. 37 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 43 into weight, and only 28 into melee. That's kind of terrible. Yeah, it's got terrible melee. I don't know if... Are they breedable? It says enable wandering or mating to mate. If we find a high level male, I might try to tame it, but... We'll see if, like, breeding is possible for basilisks. So here we are. Our newly tamed basilisk. Let's see what we're all about. This guy is huge. Wait, can we shoot off the back of you? We cannot shoot off the back of you. Okay. Alright. That's a 15. 274 damage to start with. That's really good, actually. To start with, that's really good. And we're pretty fast, too. Considering we don't get stuck. Alright, will you stop healing? I'm trying to kill you here. Stop healing! There we go, finally. That's really good, actually. Thirty-nine. Alright, so we got 51 levels. We start with 11,000 health. Let's go up to 100,000 health. The weight will stop that at 2,000. Stamina's fine, and then we'll just put the rest in the melee. Now, I want to see if we could find a high-level male at some point. To see if we could breed these guys up. You are a female. Yep, you're a female. We're going to see if we could find a male at some point. Breed these up. Let's see how much damage we do now. 3,955. That's way better. Alright. I'd like to see if we could find a... Alright. Level 10 Spino. Alright. What does the spit do? Okay. Absolutely destroyed that Spino. We can use our spit as, like, projectiles. What level are you? 30? Alright. Alright. We could just use this guy as, like, a turret. So, yeah. We just tamed a 140 Basilisk. This was pretty hard to do. It ended up having terrible melee. But if we can get a female with much... Or, sorry, not a female. A male with much better melee, then we'll be golden. That's a max level female Ravager. We have a max level male. I'd like to see what that's all about. If we could quickly snatch that. Alright, we need everything to get out the way. 
This is not the greatest at traversing whatever. All right, jump off so we don't, so the basilisk doesn't die. All right, nope, it's still alive. I'm gonna take out this stego real quick. All right, let the ravager kill that stego. The stego's almost dead. Let it heal from the stego. There we go. All right, let's start shooting it. Tank it. I couldn't turn down a max level female Ravager. We already have a max level male. Maybe it might have really good stats. You don't know. 22 points in the melee doesn't seem too bad. All right, Sarko, Termagator, keep tanking it. And he's down. Awesome, or she's down, I should say. What was this roll rat, 95? Not a bad level. All right, so I'll sit here while I wait for this uh, for this Ravager to tame up, and then we'll see what its stats are, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And there we have it. Max level female, and it's a beautiful color as well, has been tamed. Awesome. I just couldn't say no to a max level female. We have a max level male. I couldn't say no. I think the highest level female we have is that 135, so we're going to have to compare its stats. I would like to see if we could go after a male Spino a little bit higher than a 125, because the better stats might come in handy. If we can get one with better melee or better health, then that'd be great. What kind of stats are we dealing with with the melee? Alright, we got... So... Obviously, this was a health mutation. 40, so 42 points into health now. 42 into stamina, 35 into food, 44 into melee. So it's 42 and 40. So 44 points into melee and 40 points into. All right, so let's see the female. What did you get? 40 points into health, okay. 38 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares. 36 into weight, 32 into melee, and no move. All right, well. <clears throat> This Ravager might be more of a trophy Ravager, or like a spare Ravager. All right. So we tamed up a max level female Ravager, as well as the Basilisk. We've been getting lucky with Ravagers, like, level-wise. <clears throat> so, honestly, like, not the greatest level. So, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. Off camera, I'm going to expand the base. And we're going to have a whole big breeding pen dedicated to the dinosaurs so we can have breeding a lot easier and uh, yeah and I'll make myself a bigger grander base because this is nice and all but yeah it's time for a change but in the meantime that's gonna have to wrap it up for this episode if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more it would really help out a ton but until next time I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>